Um, this is a bill to amend the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 to provide a safe harbor for high deductible health plans without, uh, for, without deductible for certain inhaler. This bill expands access and enhances the utility of health savings accounts, or HSAs, by allowing high deductible health plans to provide coverage for inhalers for treatment for any chronic lung disease or condition without satisfaction of the plan's deductible. This bill would assist millions of Americans who rely on, this, on these inhalers every single day. My father is one of these Americans. What I'm going to tell you, when you don't have, uh, when, you have al when, when you have asthma, inhalers are not a luxury or an option, they're a necessity. They are life-saving, and the quality of life simply does not exist without them. So this is a very, very important bill and something that mi millions of families uh, will be positively affected by. Um, According to, uh, according to the AI group, uh, an industry survey in 2018 said that over 25 million Americans had an HSA, and it's a benefit that is growing ever increasingly in popularity. It's a great option for workers, and, en and enrollment growth in HSA so shows no sign of slowing. In July, the IRS issued an updated guidance that added preventive care for sp specified conditions to the preventive services Safe Harbor Act for HSAs. This bill's addition of inhalers is similar to the Trump administration's action. For many Americans like my father who live with asthma and other chronic lung conditions, I strongly urge my colleagues to support the passage of this bill out of the committee.